Welcome to the next part of this tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to focus on exporting our animation from the Cascadeur and bringing it back into Blender. We'll be starting exactly where we left off. To recap, in the previous tutorial, we rigged a character in Blender using AutoRig Pro. We imported it into Cascadeur and then used Cascadeur's quick rigging tool to prepare it for animation. As with most of my tutorial, I have published a blog post for this tutorial too. You can find the link in the description box or you can go to my website which is sawpirz.com. I recommend using it as a written reference as it will guide you through all the procedures step by step. For this demonstration, I will be using a flying kick animation. Our goal is to export this animation and bring it back into Blender and then go through all the required steps to properly apply it to our character's rig inside the Blender. Now, I know doing this kind of flying kick animation can be hard, but here's how to solve this problem. Click on the provided link or scan the QR code and it will take you to the Quick Magic Markerless AI website. Drop your video, play and set in an out point. Drop the 3D character. Check the configuration and click on the generate new button. It will take a moment and just like that you have your animation ready to download. Now you can import it any software and you just made a flying kick animation in less than a couple of minutes. Let's move on to the next step. First in Cascader, navigate to the file, export FBX and scene. When the file browser opens, save the file to a location on your computer. Now switch back over to Blender, go to file, import FBX and then locate and open the animation file we have just exported. In the FBX import options on the side panel, there are a few important settings to adjust. First, make sure you enabled the ignore leaf bones and also enable automatic bone orientation. There is also a checkbox named Force Connect Children. However, as I have mentioned in my blog post, this option can sometimes produce incorrect result. So I'll be leaving it unchecked for this demonstration. Once your setting are correct, press the import a base button. As you can see, our character and its animation have been successfully imported into Blender. The next step is to adjust the start and end frame of our timeline to match the animation length. Okay, great. If I now press play, you'll see that the animation is working correctly. Since we only need character armature to start the animation retargeting process, we can remove the imported character mesh. So let's select all the character mesh and then press X to delete the character mesh. To begin retargeting, open the Auto Rig Pro panel from the sidebar and navigate to the Remap tab. We need to set the source armature. This will be the skeleton that we have just imported from Cascader. Next, we'll set the target armature. This is our main character's rig, the one we want to apply the animation to. Now, in the detailed guide on my blog post, the next step I cover is an optional one. Removing the unwanted bones from the source skeleton that don't contribute to the final animation. However, since my source skeleton from Cascader and my target rig in Blender are already same, I don't need to remove any bones for this particular demonstration. Moving on, the next optional step detailed on my blog post is redefining the rest pose. We can skip this step as well because our source and target characters are similar. So for now, let's move on to the next step. Okay, the next step is to click the Build Bone List button in the Autoric Pro panel. This action will automatically create a list of all the bones from both the source and target armature that we assigned a moment ago. Moving on to our next step, which is an optional one, but sometimes important one, making sure our target rig is in FK mode. This is optional in this case, but switching to FK can sometimes prevent issue where the rig's IK controls interfere with the new animation. If you'd like to do this, simply select the target rig armature and switch it to FK mode. Now the most important step 
of this entire process is verifying the bone list. We need to carefully check that Autoric Pro has correctly matched every bone from our source skeleton to the corresponding bone to our target rig. Any mistake here can lead to unexpected results, so pay close attention as we review it together. First, we need to find the root bone for our source armature. If you are not sure what a root bone is, it is the main parent bone that moves the entire character at once. Let me quickly demonstrate. I will select the source armature and switch to pose mode. This bone right here is the root bone. Notice that if I move it, the entire skeleton move along with it. Identifying this specific bone is very important for the retargeting to work correctly. Now let's look at the target bone list. You'll notice that Autoric Pro has automatically mapped the root bone to a bone named C underscore root underscore X. However, this is actually incorrect. To show you why, on our target rig, let's switch to pose mode. I'll select the C underscore root underscore X bone and try to move it. As you can see, it doesn't move the whole character, which means it is not the true root bone. So we need to fix this mapping issue. Now, all we have to do is correct this in Autoric Pro panel. Let's replace the incorrect root bone with the correct one we just identified. Next, we need to identify that this is our root bone. To do this, simply enable the set as root checkbox next to it. Now, I can already see that there are some more incorrectly mapped bone in our bone list. However, for the sake of this tutorial, let's intentionally make a mistake so we can learn how to fix it. I'm going to press the retarget button anyway. Okay, the retargeting process is complete. If we now play the animation, at first glance, it might seem everything is working correctly. However, if we look closely at the hands, you will see they are not moving properly with the rest of the body. For your character, this error might appear in a different area, like the feet or spine, but cause will be the same, which is an incorrect bone mapping. So let's learn how to fix it. First, I will hide our character's mesh so we can see the armature clearly. Now with the source armature selected, I will switch to pose mode. If I select this main hand bone and try to scale it, the other child bone should scale with it, but they are not. This confirms there is an underlying bone here. As its name suggested, this is just a twist bone and it is not the one we want. The bone we actually want is arm underscore stretch underscore L. If we check the bone list, we can see another problem. It is incorrectly mapped to a leg bone. To fix this, we first need to find the correct bone name on our target trick. I will select the target armature, go into pose mode and select the arm. We can see its real name is c underscore arm underscore fk dot l. Now we can go back to the remap panel and use the eyedropper tool to correctly map our arm underscore stretch underscore l source bone to the c underscore arm underscore fk dot l target bone. Finally, we need to repeat this same correction process for the right hand too. With our bone mapping corrected, let's click the retarget button again and there you go. As you can see, our target character is now performing the animation perfectly, including the hands. Now that retarget process is complete, we no longer need the source armature. We can safely select it and delete it to clean up our scene. And with that, we have reached the end of our long tutorial series. We have covered a huge amount of groundwork together. You now know the entire professional workflow from start to finish. Throughout this series, you have learned how to create a custom character in Ready Player Me import and rig the character in Blender using Autoric Pro, export the character to Cascader and use its tool to create an animation, 
and finally you learn how to bring the animation back into blender and perfectly retarget it onto your original character rig so thank you so much for following along with me through this entire journey i hope to see you at the next one and good night